Hi guys, so in our last video, we started talking about David Ogilvy. Um, if you don't know about David Ogilvy, go back to the previous uh, video and then you can learn more about the man uh, and his work. Here's another very famous ad uh, by David Ogilvy for Rolls Royce. And uh, again, a re I don't know if you remember about the layout. Um, layout having a top picture, yeah, that takes up maybe half the space of the ad. And then you have a headline that is also a, a caption for the picture. And in this case, we also have a subheadline, or actually um, more than that, you have sort of like a little dialogue. It says here, what makes Rolls Royce the best car in the world? There's really no magic about it. It is merely patient attention to detail, says an eminent Rolls Royce engineer. Yeah. And the headline itself, is very curious and it goes back to um, Ben Settle's idea of doing a lot of research and you know Ogilvy only knows this because he researched the product he sat in a Rolls Royce and you know listened or him or one of his copywriters whoever that was and the headline goes at 60 miles an hour the loudest noise in this new Rolls Royce comes from the electric clock. Yeah. Now, so they're promising you basically a superbly comfortable car, very quiet. Yeah. That's basically what they're offering you. Now, there is something else that I noticed today about this ad. So nice to go back and, and read these ads again because you discover things that you never saw before. And here at the bottom right, there's a little, this little square that talks about jet engines and the future. I don't know if you know that Rolls Royce makes jet engines. Well, I don't know if they still make them, but they used to be, it used to be a, a huge business for them. And many airlines used Rolls Royce engines. And um, basically, Airlines bought Rolls-Royce engines because of the history of Rolls-Royce as a dependable car, as a car with lots of attention to detail, a reliable car, and you want that for a, for a jet engine as well. So the same philosophy, right? So they used the Rolls-Royce car history to launch their um, jet engine uh, business and now they're using the jet engine business to advertise their cars they're you know they're going back and forth using both companies are using each other as a reference and basically what they're saying here in the little square is jet engines are the future As the print is so small I can barely read it certain airlines have chosen Rolls-Royce turbojets for the, their Boeing's 707s and Douglas uh, DC-8s. Basically, what they're, what they're saying is, okay, our jet engines are state-of-the-art. They are the latest technology. So even though we're a super, super conservative company, you know, the queen uh, rides our cars and old money uses our cars, we're not just sitting there and just thinking about the past. We're a forward-looking company, you know, that likes technology as well. Yeah? So, very clever, very clever, Ogilvy, using both both to uh, as a reference to each other. Now, another interesting thing about this ad is that, I don't know if you see, on the left, in the body copy, it's all numbered a numbered list basically so it's all bullets what is a bullet a bullet is typically maybe a little bit longer than a headline but not always sometimes bullets can 
turn into headlines, but basically it's a condensed piece of information, important information that you want to tell the customer and you use a bullet to give them a list of things, yeah? And it's perceived uh, as easier to read, because it is actually, it's not perceived, it is easier to read than a big wall of gray type, you know? A big wall without any breaks, yeah? The bullet, the bullet point um, gives us the feeling that we're, you know, just parsing around and reading a little bit and it's not so complicated, it's not so deep and I can get the information quickly, yeah? So basically they wrote a bunch of bullets and that's all they're using for their, for their body copy. They're not using anything else or any stories, yeah? So uh, let's read one of the bullets. Um, for example, bullet number three. The Rolls-Royce is designed as an, as an owner-driven car. It is 18 inches shorter than the largest domestic cars. So basically, the bullet is telling people, well, you don't have to have a driver in order to have a Rolls-Royce, and it's not that huge. You can drive it normally take it into your your normal parking um, at home and uh, and in normal roads no problem yeah it's not an unwieldy uh, limousine yeah okay guys I hope you enjoyed this is a great ad uh, look it up look up David Ogilvy and learn from him a uh, great advertising man Oh, yes, and get my, my free book. It's completely free, just for you, yeah, in the description. Top 10 reasons for successful advertising. Uh, easy to read, packed full of information.